All right, here we go. So I've just bought myself an EVC throttle controller. This is EVC525. Uh, this one's suited for my model of car. You've got to check each car. They are vehicle specific. So this one is for my 2016 uh, SS with the LS3 in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the unboxing. And it is quite small. Smaller than I thought it would be. So... Got the little display screen here, pop that out, and the rest of it here, all your cables, so there's your cables and stuff there, a few little cable ties, sticker, and then your throttle control quick start guide. Uh, on their website there. This one was bought through Repco. Um, currently selling for about, I think it was $279. Alright guys, welcome to the footwell of the VF Series 2 Commodore installing the uh, EVC. Um, so here we've got to get to the back of the, uh, the, the uh, throttle pedal. As you can see here, we've got, just got to locate this cable. Now if we have a look up under here, let me zoom out a little bit. All right, you can see that we've got a panel here. Just a couple of little screws here that we've just got to uh, undo. So I'll go ahead and take all that off and hopefully that'll get us to the back of the pedal. All right, so here we go, removing that panel. So basically we've just taken these little, little grubs that I pointed out. We've taken them out. And this should simply just slide away. Alright, so now that we've got the uh, cover away, hopefully you can all see just up on top there, there's a little pin that we've got to pull off the top there. And obviously if we refer back to our manual, we can see, and pull that pin off, slide the other piece in, put it all back together. Uh, hopefully I'll show you the next step. All right, so the next step is we've got to disconnect the top of the th cable off the top of the throttle pedal, which looks something like this. So this little pin just literally down and up, down and up, right? But obviously it just needs to be plugged in when we do it, right? And you just simply push that up, slide the old one off, slide this one on, and then the old clip just goes into the other end of this. All right, so that's the next step. Uh, let's see if I can give you a look at what's going on up there. Oh camera in the right spot and you can see just up there you can see that red maybe that side's better it's a bit hard there we go you can see the other pin that I've already disconnected off the top of the uh, throttle pedal okay so now that we've done done all that you can see it's all been up reconnected now uh, it is kind of a one-handed job but I figure guys if you can uh, snap a bra off with one hand more than likely you can do this job one-handed so, and then from there, look, we're just going to route the cable up underneath the dash, across the back here, and you can see here, we're just going to pop out beside the steering wheel, and we are just going to mount it up there. So, hopefully the next little piece will show you everything that is all hooked up, ready to go. Alright, so here we are, all hooked up, wires tucked in down beside the steering column, we're through the panel on the panel, and look, we uh, have a bit of excess here, obviously every car's a little bit different. Uh, but what they do do is chuck in a couple of cable ties, roll that stuff stuff up and uh, tuck it back up underneath there. We'll, uh, we'll uh, pop this panel back in above the pedals and the side panel there which goes across over there. And we should be good to go. Hopefully we can then go through the installation instructions for manual and auto gearbox and fire this thing up. Alright and just a quick just a quick tip on uh, popping these back in if you pop this section back up rather than just jamming them back in the hole and risk damaging this plastic bottom bit here all right pop this up as you can see and then it now becomes a little bit uh, flexible Oops, sorry about that flexible pop back in the hole and once it's in the hole just simply pop it back down and then you can see there exactly how it works great little ideas all right, I haven't turned this EVC on yet. We're going to turn it on with you. Just thought I'd give you a little pretty shot of the car. Yeah, hi, that's me, my ugly mug. Uh, here we go. Let's give it a go. You can see that I've got it mounted there. Now, you do have to tell it which gearbox it is. Uh, basically, I'm going to read through the instructions just as it says. 
All right, transmission setup. Start the vehicle. Make sure we're in neutral or park, depending on the thing. We lit up. Okay, you can see we've got some blue lights lit up, lit up on the machine. So we're going to press and hold the B button, which is mode, for three seconds to enter transmission setup. And we use the C button to cycle through. So 88 is auto, might be a bit hard for you. So there we go, 88, or 00, zero is manual. So we have the auto, so we want to be on 88. And once desired settings are chosen, exit transmission by pressing B button once. Done. We have transmission set up. All right, and then from there we're just going to follow the rest of them. Um, so let's go see if we can scroll through the modes. The modes. So E mode for economy. Ultimate mode. Or I can leave it on automatic control, and it'll select the desired throttle uh, control depending on how far you press the pedal. So I think I will be starting on E. Uh, sorry, on U. Ultimate mode for enhanced throttle response choose from one to nine i'm going oh it says transmission setup again sorry exit that and set there we go you can scroll through zero to nine i'm guessing zero is basic and nine is ultimate ultimate there we go folks um, we'll take it for a test drive shortly all right so e9 throttle settings is very soft and relaxed and you've got to give it a reasonable push but if one flick of a button over to ultimate nine and the slightest push and yeah so there's basically a difference between e9 and ultimate nine so yeah it is a big difference in the throttle control um i'll drive it a bit more and tell you a bit more as i learn give her a go this is economy nine. It's almost full throttle, barely picks up at all. It's maybe like uh, if it was off, I suppose you could call it something close to about three quarters, maybe. Uh, it's a definitely a lot more economy potential fuel saving, I guess, in this day and age when we're paying nearly two dollars a litre premium here in Australia um, from what I've heard New Zealand is somewhere near three dollars but obviously they don't have to travel anywhere near as much so let's give her a squirt let's pop her up onto ultimate nine and uh, see how sensitive this throttle is well, there we go as you can see very sensitive barely touching the throttle
anyway, that's uh, that's why I run down on a on an ABC. Um, am I going to keep it? 50-50, yeah. We'll see how the fuel saving goes. If it saves me money on fuel, I'll probably keep it. If it doesn't really save me money on fuel, we'll, uh, probably put it back on the market, and sell it off second hand. Uh, go and play with some new devices. So. Thanks for your time guys, enjoy, and I will talk to you on the next video, bye.